Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome to my brand new series, Best in Beauty, where I'll be taking you to the most popular and best places for your beauty needs. We're talking about hair care, makeup, nails, body care, the whole lot. Now in this episode, we're gonna dive into nail art, Japanese nail art to be exact. Thankfully for me, I am in the land of beautiful nail art, Japan, and I have booked myself an appointment with one of the best nail salons here in Tokyo. The salon is Jill and Lovers and they're located in Harajuku. They're known for their wide variety of designs from simple nail art to 3D designs to blinged up bedazzled nails. They've even done nails for Rita Ora. Now I love nail art, especially when it comes to Japanese nail art because they're so meticulous with their craft and to them, it's not just about making your nails look pretty, it's an art form. Anyways, that's enough talking for me. Let's head up. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad. Upon arriving, we were greeted by two furry friends, Momo and Poppy. Poppy is actually a blind rescue dog that the salon owner, Mami, adopted. I was really amazed as to how Poppy got around the place. He would bark and use his sense of smell to navigate around the salon. And he loved snuggling up with Momo. They were both so cute. As soon as we arrived, Alfred and I were offered complimentary drinks, which isn't that common in nail salons. I feel like it's more common at hair salons, but yeah, I was really impressed with that. So this is Mami. She is the owner of Jill and Lovers. She has over 12 years experience and she's the one that does Rita Ora's nails whenever she has shows in Tokyo. So I am in good hands. Mummy starts off by removing my existing gel polish and I actually have a dip powder enhancement on my nails. So she files the top layer of that off using her e-file and the tube thingamajiggy on the side is actually a nail dust collector which sucks up a majority of the nail filings. This is common at Japanese and Korean nail salons. However, I don't really see it that often in Australia. My nails are then soaked in remover and wrapped up in foil for 10 minutes. Once the gel has lifted, mummy uses a hand file to remove the enhancement. Now you can see my natural nails, it's actually quite long. Um, so mummy's actually going to shorten them because she's actually going to sculpt new longer tips for me. So once my nails are cut down and filed, it's time to prep my nail beds. To clean up my cuticle, she uses a small cuticle drill bit to push back my cuticles. FYI, this doesn't hurt because the drill bit is actually made for that area. Then she removes any excess cuticle and dead skin using cuticle nippers. He's got it all figured out. That's what they all say, yeah. Everyone's looking at me. Once my nails are all clean and prepped, a primer is applied on top. This is going to help create a stronger bond between my natural nail bed and the acrylic enhancement that's going on top. Now with the design, I didn't have anything specific in mind, so I pretty much let mommy do anything she wanted. She just asked me if I preferred something sparkly, 3D or what kind of style. And so I told her, yes, do something sparkly. You can pretty much do whatever you want with my nails. So now we're ready to move on to the sculpting. You may have seen this in my other Japanese nail art video that I filmed a few years ago. So instead of using pre-made plastic tips to extend the nail, 
Mummy's going to sculpt them using nail forms and acrylic. So each form has to be carefully trimmed to fit the shape of my nail and it's placed under the free edge. Then she makes a custom mixture of acrylic, glitter and sequins and this is going to be used for my nail extension. First she dips her brush into monomer and then picks up a small ball of clear acrylic and that's going to go on the nail form connecting up to my free edge. Then a layer of the glitter acrylic goes on top and she just uses this to shape and sculpt a new nail tip for me. Once the acrylic begins to dry, mummy uses the side of her nails to pinch my nail and give it a nice C curve. My old lovers fall into my covers where they sink one by one. Yeah, I watch them disappear to nothing, disposable as chewing gum. There are deal breakers where I this is what my nails are looking like so far. They're super long, super glittery and blinged up. And I actually don't know how I'm going to cope with this new length. But hey, when in Japan, you might as well go crazy with your nails. Okay, so now my nails need to be filed and buffed down so they're not too thick. Not saying I'm some genius. Then a gel top coat is applied on top. You're the truth I'm scared to tell. There are deal breakers where I come from. My family don't suffer fools glad they know. I am getting blinded by just looking at my nails. They're so shiny and blinged up. But we are far from done. Mommy is going to take it to the next level and make my nails 3D by adding rhinestones and embellishments. She picked out a bunch of flowers and jewels and at this point I'm kind of like confused because I'm like thinking to myself is she going to stick all those on my nails and how on earth are they meant to stay there? Some of these jewels and rhinestones were huge and sure enough they were going on my nails. So instead of using nail glue or gel to secure the gems, mummy actually uses acrylic. So she pops a ball of acrylic on and then attaches the rhinestones on that area. So she starts off by blinging up my pinky finger and my oh my, she is not holding back on the bling. As she moved on to the next nail and the next nail, the decorations got more and more elaborate. And at this point, I think my nails could give Lady Gaga a run for her money. I bet she's never had nails like this.
Just when I thought my nails couldn't get any more extra, mommy attaches a bear to my nail, like a full on bear, something that you would see on a keychain. That went on my nail. Never would I have imagined that it would be possible to, to attach such a big bear on my finger. Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something that features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her Let me paint a picture I see they don't Check these babies out Look how intricate and crazy amazing they are Super 3D I even have a bear on one finger, but that's not it. We still have more bling to add. There's still a little bit more space on my nails and so mommy uses smaller rhinestones and just fills in any of these spaces. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see There must be something that features then she seals everything off with a coat of gel and we are done. Everyone's standing up to see her. There must be something that features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper. So it's been half a day with my new nails and I completely forgot what a struggle it is to have super long nails and this time 3D long nails. It was so hard typing on my phone, so hard that I actually like locked myself out for five minutes because I kept getting my passcode wrong. Also, eating with a knife and fork, oh, I actually felt like I was a kid again learning how to use a fork and knife to eat properly. Then there's just like everyday stuff that you will take for granted, like touching up my makeup. I was trying not to poke my eye out. I couldn't pick up any coins. When I went to the bathroom, it was really hard for me to get my button on my jeans back on. Just everyday things that you would normally do, it's actually a lot, lot harder with longer nails. These ones are much more intricate and crazier than the previous Japanese nails um, that I did two years ago. I thought those were epic until I came here to Tokyo and got my nails done by mommy. She has 12 years experience. She's actually so quick. It took her three hours all up including taking my original nails off and then popping on these designs plus sculpting the length of these babies. Obviously this is not for everyone but mommy does do a wide range of designs. She does a lot simpler designs or crazy ones like this if you're into that. My favorite nail has to be this one with the little bear on it. I actually didn't know that that was like a nail charm or gemstone or whatever. Like I didn't actually think that she would stick a full on bear on my nail. And you know what? These like are stuck on. They are very, very intact. If you guys are ever visiting Tokyo and want to have a full Japanese nail experience, I'll leave mommy's details below so you guys can check out her nail salon, Jill and Lovers. But yeah, that is it from me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Best in Beauty. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. That way you don't miss out on any future videos that I post. And yeah, I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye! Oh, so much noise. I remember when we were staring photo. Don't forget the way you look me in the eyes. And I keep you in my heart. And my heart is where you are. I still think of you. I want you come.